I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now today this 50 years old female lady presented to me with a complaint of a fixed dilated pupil after uneventful cataract surgery one month back. Now she was operated a month ago in another city foldable IOL in the bag was implanted after a routine phaco surgery next day the pupil was dilated the operatic surgeon thought that it will constrict as the effects of the dilating drops will wean off but when the pupil remained dilated after one week post surgery the surgeon got uh, cautious and uh, he injected myocal a parasympathomimetic uh, to constrict it but it didn't work and then uh, few two more weeks passed and then the patient was referred to me for further management now here the patient presented uh, with complaint of uh, not only the dilated pupil which is cosmetically unacceptable but also glare photophobia in light and decrease of vision now first we have to determine that what are the causes of fixed dilated pupil after post uh, after cataract surgery well one cause of iatrogenic uh, Midriasis is the use of 2% uh, uh, hyper uh, HPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose gel which we use in routine uh, in patients. Now another uh, alternative is uh, sodium hyaluronate uh, which is more safe uh, and the incident of uh, dilated pupil has not been reported with it but it is costly and here uh, most of our patients are very poor and they can't afford the sodium hyaluronate gel. So we have to use HPMC gel but still the occurrence of the dilated uh, fixed dilated pupil is extremely rare so we can not replace it with sodium hyaluronate another cause is if large amount of hpmc gel is retained in the anterior chamber and that cause very high spike of uh, intraocular pressure and that may lead to ischemia of the sphincter and leading to permanently dilated pupil but with raised iop the patient will not uh, will not be asymptomatic the patient will feel pain headache nausea vomiting these were not present in this patient another important cause is preservative containing adrenaline use during surgery to dilate the pupil because only preservative free diluted adrenaline is allowed to use intracamerally so if you use concentrated adrenaline intracamerally or preservative containing adrenaline it will damage the corneal endothelium the sphincter and all the intracameral structures so that's one another cause now let's come to the most common and reversible cause maybe the patient was injected atropine subconjunctivally to reduce the inflammation post-op or uh, mistakenly atropine drop is instilled uh, and uh, in that case atropine uh, stoppage uh, will reverse the dilatation after a week or 10 days so we have to wait but in this patient uh, uh, four weeks have passed and the pupil is dilated and there is no history or uh, use of uh, dilating drops now another cause is an already weak a sphincter muscle that was forcibly dilated many times intraoperatively due to HPMC uh, to maintain the anterior chamber and it may have damaged it resulting in a fixed dilated pupil sphincter damage due to chopper phaco iris shaping of the pupil during surgery in an already compromised sphincter can lead to fixed dilated pupil as well but there was no surgical 
trauma uh, scars visible here toss toxic anterior segment syndrome is another possibility and in such scenario painless severe corneal edema will accompany dilated pupil and that mostly occurs due to contaminated viscoelastic use so now we have discussed all the possibilities and most of these events results in irreversible ischemic injury to the sphincter with permanent dilated pupil now how to proceed well the first major intraocular pressure anterior chamber reaction give intraocular pressure lowering agents anti-glaucoma drugs and give steroids if TAS is present to wait for two weeks to look for mistakenly uh, instilled atropine drops and if with a quiet eye clear cornea and there is a dilated pupil start pilocorpine drops like in this patient i started pilocorpine drops one drop four times a day and now i will follow the patient after two to four weeks of pilotherapy that if situation is the same then it means that sphincter is permanently damaged and i will proceed towards the surgery i have got three options first is to ensure iris is not too much atrophic um, usually iris in such cases falls over and also hit in the angle anterior chamber angle so if uh, the patient have got fixed mid dilated pupil like in these cases it is not too much dilated uh, you can see a large amount of iris is visible so what i do is to make two to three paracentesis ports and with anterior chamber filled with visco with the help of micro forceps i gently pull the iris from the pupillary margin towards the center of the pupil 360 degree and that unfolds the iris as well as release it from the angle and problem is usually solved without stitching it and if it is too much dilated then the other two options are pupillary circlage with tensioproline and pupilloplasty so i hope this video have cleared your concept of post of midriasis thank you very much